from AmazingAvenue.com. Headline, Top 25 Mets Prospects from 2024. At number 13, shortstop Jeremy Rodriguez. Now, before we get into this video, you need to hit that subscribe button so you know what's going on in the Mets farm system. I, I cobble everything I can possibly find on the internet and have it all here for you. There's no commentary, just pure scanning reports and different articles. Jeremy Rodriguez was born on July 4, 2006 in Esperanza, a city in the Dominican Republic that is also the birthplace of numerous current and former major leaguers. Jose Lecurk, Sir Anthony Dominguez, David Ortiz, Hector Nosi, Joanne Duran, and Jason Dominguez. Considered one of the premier international rookies available during the 2023 international signing period, the Arizona Diamondbacks made him their, their number one target and signed him for $1.2 million back in January 15th, first day of the signing eligibility. The 16-year-old made his major his professional debut later that year in the Dominican Summer League, appearing in 38 games with the DSL Arizona Black and hitting 256 with six doubles, two triples, two home runs, 12 stolen bases, and 17 attempts and drawing 21 walks to 26 strikeouts. On August 1st, the Mets traded outfielder Tommy Pham to the Diamondbacks and received Rodriguez back in exchange. He was signed to the DSL Mets Orange <clears throat> and appeared in 13 games, and 422 with four doubles, three triples, one home run, seven stone bases, and eight attempts. All in all, both teams combined, Rodriguez had 293 in his age 16 debut season with 10 doubles, five triples, three home runs, 19 stone bases, and 25 attempts, and 32 walks to 31 strikeouts. Rodriguez is smooth as a athletic, six foot, 170 pounder giving him some room to fill in and add more muscle mass. He has a smooth, compact left-handed swing that is geared more for contact than for power. But when he makes solid contact, he can put a jolt in the ball. The DSL Mets Orange, he averaged an 83.6 exit velocity, which might not be all that impressive on the surface, but did so nearly half his batted ball events, registering launch angles within the 10 to 30 degree sweet spot. The left-hander sprays line drives all over the field, using his speed to leg out extra base hits or steal bases. His eye for spin and understanding the strike zone is extremely advanced for his age, allowing him to wait on pitches that he can solidly can hit solidly and drive. With the glove, it is hard to tell where Rodriguez will eventually settle. Most scouts and evaluators believe he will be able to stay at shortstop for the long term. He shows quick reaction times, has good instincts, soft hands, a smooth glove, and has an above- Average to plus arm. Now, <clears throat> now this is the scan report. Um, people are very, very happy that the Mets picked him up. A lot of scouts were very surprised that the Mets were able to get him uh, for Tommy Pham. The Mets only had Tommy Pham for half a season. But people were very, very enthused when the Mets made this deal. So this is th this is one of these moves that the former general manager, Billy Epler, made that was very enthusiastically received around Major League Baseball uh, circles in terms of, you know, uh, different kind of scouting evaluators and different scouting uh, reporters. So you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to Prospect Hut, and I'll see you later.